Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On tap is what should be a pretty good matchup between the Washington Redskins and the Detroit Lions. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Well, Coach, the seating capacity is 65,000 at Ford Field, and we are right around that number today. A good crowd on hand and seemingly ready to go in the Motor City. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Washington Redskins and the Detroit Lions. With my good friend Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we have arrived at another new season. Had a little more pep in my step this morning. <laughs> I know you did as well. Here we go. Yeah, when you went out for your five-mile jog, you were flying. You <laughs> did it in record time because you were psyched up about this game. But let's be frank about it. No more radio shows. No more podcasts. No more just predicting what's going to happen. Now we get to see it on the field. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards, up to the 27-yard line. So out comes the Redskins offense now onto the field. And out will come the leader of this offense, and that, of course, is their signal caller. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's, not, so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that told me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Second and three. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. And on this first drive, looks like they want to get that vertical passing game going early. And they did, and what a warning shot they just fired. If you're not going to back up and play coverage deep, we're going to attack you all game long. And once you adjust to that and you start to back off, then that opens things up underneath. A really nice start for them. Great way to get the game going. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now a run with Geis. It'll be a gain of five, but still about three yards shy of the first down marker, and now it's third down. And the big meet on the D-line. We'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident they think that no one can block them and the lions going with an extra db here on third down williams off the play fake he may try and run for this five yards on the scramble and that's enough to pick up the first we just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach quarterbacks how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy, make sure he doesn't get hurt. He did exactly that on that play. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick up a first down. And only able to muster a couple down to about the 27. Here's second and eight. He's just going to dump this one off to his fullback out of the backfield. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. 
It kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, sniff it out, and finish it off. And the screen only good for three that time, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. Do you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion. What you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield, mission accomplished, points on the board. time with Johnson and from the 25 they work this to the 29 a gain of four and we look now at the Lions offense and last night we were discussing some of the changes they've made offensively during the offseason and we know it helps for them to have the first game at home hopefully this crowd which we saw coming in they've been here for a while ready to go you and I should have joined the tailgates that's for sure they're going to give him plenty of encouragement. They'll try and ride that wave and get their first victory of the year. And he gets this up to the 34 out of bounds there. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. They only get two there, but on third and one, that's all they needed to keep the drive going. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now to Galladay on the jet sweep. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. And now a look at the Washington defense. Landon Collins is built like your typical tackle first safety, but he does have the ability to play the deep part of the field. Johnson and that'll be good for eight yards to the 45 the Redskins on third down putting an extra man here in the secondary boy no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know defenders if they get a free shot at the QB they want to take it, and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. All day, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Out comes Washington's go. offense as they get set to take over here. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this go-around. First and ten. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Coming in, he really liked his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Guy's showing he's going to be an important part of this Redskin backfield as he's in there again for first down. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Then he got off the end there very quickly to make that play. Yeah, it was almost like the bullet train, wasn't it? I mean, just zoom. Quick, quick, quick. And what a terrific play, holding them to no gain. To throw on third down. Williams. Washington's got it. And he gets this only to the 44-yard line. Not near enough to keep the drive alive. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, 
and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. On first and 10, Moore. That's caught by the big tight end, TJ Hawkinson. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. Just like that, a pickup of 20 on their first play from scrimmage. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. Oh, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. On second down, Johnson. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. In Washington territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. On the ground, this is Johnson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. And the Redskins have an extra man in the secondary here on third. To throw is Moore, operating from the gun. A bullet throw, but incomplete. All right, that one fell incomplete there, but the best quarterbacks, they'll miss on 40% of their throws somewhere in that neighborhood, similar to a great hitter in baseball who's going to fail seven out of 10 times and still have a great year. In this case, you want perfection, but way better that it hits the ground instead of going to an opposite color jersey. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. And the drive begins with a run by Geis. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. A redskin first down. The pickup, 15 yards. They'll run on first down. T. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Geis with a carry on second down. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. 3-0 after one on EA Sports. third down. Williams. Aguilar has it. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards, turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Now Williams to throw on second down. No, he doesn't have it. Maybe some alligator arms there going over the middle. Third down. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. They couldn't contain Deshaun Hand that time as he gets home for the sack. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Sack. Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> and now the putter, Tress Way, as he sends this one away. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. 
That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. From that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. 57. Mike, 57. Big stop, D. Big stop. Let's go. On second down. It's Johnson, and he'll get it up a little shy of the 15. They'll spot him down at the 14-yard line. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Here's Moore on first and 10. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The Lions on third down, just one for three thus far. This will be a tough third and 18. More now, and he fires one, but incomplete. So it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. Hill shedding the tackle. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three-point CD. Yeah, if you're into the points-per-drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Here's Geis. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll be third down. Here's Williams to throw on third down. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Deshaun Hand. He's the culprit. Causes a loss of five, and it brings up fourth down. Well, that's the second time he's been sacked so far in the first half. And if they have designs on having a big year, on going anywhere, they've got to find a way to keep him upright so he can throw the football. And that'll hit in the end zone. Much too much leg there. That'll be a touchback. Back onto the field comes the offense. Let's take a closer look at Carrion Johnson. They haven't been able to get him on track. They haven't been able to get this offense on track. No points so far. Maybe it's time to start doing a few different things. Throwing the ball a little bit. Maybe featuring other people touching it for a while. And then you've got a chance to come back to it when things have changed a little bit. They have to make an adjustment. Well, still time for him here as we sit in the second quarter. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So a jump there defensively. And it's a killer. Watch the football. Don't move across the line of scrimmage until the ball moves. Now a chance to make that encroachment penalty really hurt. First and five. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Deron Payne, the big D tackle there to make the stop. On second down now. It's Johnson, and he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. The Lions on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This time it's third and three. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. He was waving his arms, wanted the football, but he dropped it. And that reminds me of a story you told me from your days at Tennessee. We don't need to mention the other guy's name, but when he dropped an open pass that you blew coverage on, what did you say to him? Yeah, it's really not right since I blew coverage, but <laughs> since he dropped the pass, I said, well, maybe next time he'll just walk it out here and hand it to you. Would that be easier? He wasn't, real, th he wasn't real thrilled with that. That's cold-blooded. Cold-blooded. <laughs> 
Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Looking to throw, Williams. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact, no call, and it's third down. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Williams now from the gun. He'll throw. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Now that definitely hurts because the mindset is getting a three and out there and they don't get it done. They give up the scramble and a pickup for a first down. And now whistles and a flag and I think we got to jump here. A little antsy on the left side of the line. Yeah, I think they got the guy in the end. I think they got the DN there on that one and let's face it, he is so amped up. Wanting to get a good get off on the snap, jump too quickly. They will come up on a first and five following the encroachment penalty. Following the penalty, it's Geis. Call it a gain of a couple there as it'll leave him with a second and just three. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 46. And his guys are going to get the football at their own 47-yard line. How big is that penalty? Wipe out the INT. You'd hate to be the teammate that caused that penalty and wiped out the interception. you got to face that guy in the locker room. Not a lot of fun for you, and you hurt your squad. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. The last run got six, now second and four. Now a handoff here to his running back. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. The Redskins on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. Got a man open. It's Ross. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. And not what you're looking to do on third and one. Completing the pass, but going backward. I have zero explanation for that because third and one, you just figure snap, throw, first down, right? Easy play. But end up losing yardage on it. That's hard to account for. Illegal block in the ball. Return team. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. More now. Throwing on first down. And a first and goal coming up here inside the 10-yard line. When the rookie QB gets his first touchdown pass, that's one you put in the trophy case. First career <laughs> interception, that's going to be one he wants to forget. Yeah, and he's not going to go ask for the football, right? No. Yeah, you can keep that one. The key for him, what does he learn from it? When he watches the tape, does he have an answer right now where he already understands what mistake he made? That's what the coaches are going to want to know, and that's what they'll grill him on and see how he grows from it. A very short field to work with now. First and goal after the great punt return. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Here's second and goal operating from the eight yard line. It's Geis on the counter. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. No gain on the play there. They're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. And this is taken in for a Redskins touchdown. Antonio Callaway there to make the grab. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. Good throw there, and I don't want to blow it too out of proportion, but he looks a lot more comfortable in his second season. You can tell he put the work in in the offseason, and what I mean by that is understanding the playbook, not just 
the plays and how to execute them, but how to do it against a variety of defenses, also understands his team better, what they can and cannot do. You can see the confidence rising in him as he plays. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead grows to 10 0. Scoring summary, three play drive, and the result a touchdown for Washington. This is taken at the three. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28 yard line. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you that coming up in two minutes, we'll again head down to visit with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando back for another year. He'll have scores from around the NFL here on this opening weekend. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So now they'll come up on second and 10, once again from the 28. To throw again, Moore. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he's going to be down at the 35, gain of seven. Moore from the gun on third down. This is Johnson, he's got it. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Now Moore looking here for Smith downfield. And that'll wind up incomplete. Try to give his man room to run under it, but it's second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Second and 10. He sets up the screen to Jones. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as he'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Operating from the gun. Moore. He's got his man, TJ Hawkinson. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. Back to throw. Moore. And he fires one incomplete. The intended target, TJ Hawkinson. And that'll bring up second down. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Open man is Galladay, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. Huh, hate to see this, week one of the season. We'll be back. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Set the tone, defense, let's go. Now more. Operating from the gun. Throw left side complete. That's Fleming. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Looking to throw. More. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. This fielded at the two. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out there ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. Time for a final kneel down or a safe run, and then they can head to the locker room with a lead. Yeah, or they can even run a screen. You know, something they feel is somewhat safe that might actually pop and turn into a big play, that's what you usually run in this situation. Or go four verticals because why not? Because you're feeling it, right? You're just feeling it. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. 
Meanwhile, in our game, it's been a defensive struggle. Which offense can break through in the second half? To find out, let's hand it over to our broadcast team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. This is taken at the three. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter at number three. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. They'll run it with Johnson. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Even after the penalty, still a full seven yards to go on third down. To throw is more from the gun, he'll throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Oh, yeah! It appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. Here now, Johnny Townsend, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Redskins offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Now how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. And plays like that are exactly what this defense needs here early in the second half to give it a little spark. I think their halftime adjustments, what they talked about, maybe it's just a little inspirational speech. Who knows? But looks like they're ready to go. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets them up for third down. They'll try and get it with Geis. Now a flag comes in from the umpire after a gain of about four. And this looks like it's going to be holding. So on the big tight end, holding. Each and every year, we talk about very few tight ends coming into the league that are polished blockers or asked to do it a lot in college. So it's a constant struggle and a constant fight to learn how to do it without holding. And that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. 
This is brought in at the 21. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Lions will take over. Elsewhere, they have gone to the second half in Carolina. And that lead there for the Rams has extended. They just scored again. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. And they'll start the drive on the ground with Johnson. And he works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Back to throw. Moore looking middle, and it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Looking to throw. Moore. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. First down, Lions on a pickup of 13. Catch number 100 for his career right there, and it's good enough to keep the chains moving. Now a 10th carry for Johnson, and he'll be brought down. Oh, that's a face mask. Certainly looked like it. Indeed, here come the flags. Officials so cognizant of that call nowadays, but that would look pretty easy. Yeah, you're right. They took out of their hands having to wonder whether it's a five yard or a 15 yard inadvertent or not. Now it's a lot easier. You see it, you call it. A running play on first down and it turns into a fight just to get back to the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play and it's second down. Back to throw now on second and 10. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. The pressure drops off as they'll look to throw. Catch is made by Hawkinson, the tight end. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, like hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And this kick is not going to be close. It's well short, well right to boot, and this score will stay right where it is. Now listen, now no kick from 50-plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome. You'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, and it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continues to get better and better. Check their background. They were all county, all state, at other positions, not just soccer players. These guys expect themselves to be great as well. A quick throw now complete to Ross. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. Williams on third down, gets this one to Hill. And he gets it just shy of midfield, but that's not enough. He's short of the marker. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. A short game that doesn't get him the first down, brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before it. Averaging over 50 yards a punt so far as this one's away. No returning this one. It sails out of bounds, and they'll spot it right at the 20. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, OK, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, less of a field goal attempt for him. They stay on the ground on first with Johnson. It's a six yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down, it's Jones. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. 
Here's Moore. Going first down. And incomplete there. Almost picked off. That's one you maybe expect your roaming free safety to come up with. But it's second down. Here's Johnson. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Over the middle, complete. That's Fleming. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. This quarterback now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. They expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. Now a pass hauled in downfield. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. They go back to the ground with Johnson. And he will lose yardage here back at the 23-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. Moore now operating from the gun. He's got Smith here. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. Back to throw. Moore looking in zone, but it's incomplete. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Second and five. And he is caught at the seven-yard line. And he goes backwards on this one, losing yardage to the seven. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way, lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, does it? He can't avoid the pressure. Redskins get there. That's Deron Payne with a sack that time third and goal they decided to throw for it, but how about the play defensively couldn't find anyone open left him nowhere to go with the football had to absorb the sack and his kick is right there it's good and that'll bring him back within four so they get three certainly hoping for six after a 13 play drive so you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job right if they go 13 plays you only give up a field goal you did a nice job there but here's the other part 13 plays you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. And here come the Redskins now. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with a game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they there he goes, left side. Touchdown, Washington. Darius Geis, 71 yards. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. And that run massively increased his production in this game, and now he's over 100 yards. And break out your calculator, partner, because his yards per carry went up it's significantly, right? Big time jaunt all the way to the end zone. Point after here, coming up. It's good, and now it's an 11-point lead, 17-6. to six. So they hit pay dirt on just one play. The long run, the scamper, and a very nice scamper into the end zone for the touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. So out now come the Lions. 
And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder and puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Moore from the gun, he'll throw. Hard throw, incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely, just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. Well, that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Out comes Washington's offense as they get set to take over here. Now, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. On the ground, it's Geis. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. It's a first down for the Redskins on a pickup of 11. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play there. Second down. On second down, T. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. To throw on third down, Williams. And he'll find Washington. That's complete. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 42. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it, sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. There we go. 10 yards there, good for a Redskin first down. Starting to look like this drive, it may be the final nail in the coffin. Well, this is why you work out so hard, right? This is why you spend all that time in the offseason. This is why you have those OTAs and mini camps for these situations, these scenarios, to run someone into the ground and secure a victory. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. They'll run with Geis. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So that one will be accepted. Now Williams looking to throw on second down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Trey Flowers, the former Arkansas Razorback, in there to get him. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. So two plays with only negative yardage to show, and now it's third and 16. Going for the deep ball. And this is caught inside the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. I know we love our jobs, and pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely look for. How about that one? That was great, and what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. That's a big game. 
Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Geis alone in the backfield here, second and goal. They get it to him running left. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. Here's Williams. Going to throw on third and goal. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. From three yards out. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. And it was polished off by a Redskin touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Let's go. Let's do it. So the face mask, quite a blessing there as they'll start out of harm's way with a first and ten. Looking to throw. Moore. And his throw here is incomplete. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now more to throw on third down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Fleming. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. To throw is Moore on first and 10. And he whips that one incomplete there. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Here's Moore. Going to throw again. Open man, he's got him, the tight end, Hawkinson. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Redskins 17-yard line. But when you hit him on the move like that, and he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam, oh boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. And yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. That's how we do it. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall, looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he hasn't had a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got him. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. Four yards on the pickup. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Moore now operating from the gun. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And it's incomplete, almost intercepted. He had a great shot of picking that off in the end zone. It brings up fourth down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. 
They're on to the fourth quarter now, by the way, at Bank of America Stadium in Carolina. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. You saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Redskins defense going to take over on the turnover on downs. So they'll trudge off the field with a bitter taste in their mouths after that failed fourth down conversion. Yeah, there'll be a lot of analysis there on the sidelines. Was it the right call? Was it, the, was it against the right defense? Should they have even gone for it at all? Will that change what they do going forward in this game? A lot of questions to be answered by them. The defense doesn't really care. They're like, bring it on again. We'll stop you the next time, too. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. This is Geis. And he'll push his way up to about the 44 here. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. They stay on the ground. Geis again. And it's still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Third down, here's Geis. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. He needed three, he got two. Now that'll set up an interesting situation here on fourth and a yard. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. They begin the drive with Johnson. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now whistles and a flag down. Looked like one of the Lions linemen might have moved. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. A false start penalty, and now they're back to needing 10 yards on second down. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. And here's another tackle made at the line. So they're converging well on the football now. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. And now a carry here for their fullback. And he's able to get this across the 10 before being taken down. 11 yards there and a line first down. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this and he does that. But this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. On first down, Moore. Johnson's got it complete. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it a second down. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Second and three. And that is incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Moore throwing on first down. Underneath for Johnson. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Second and one. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Fleming. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down. Moore. He finds his man, Johnson. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. And we're pretty quiet, D. We're pretty quiet. More now. 
Out to the left there and complete to the tight end, Hawkinson. The Lions now going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 27 seconds showing on the clock. Back to throw. Moore. It's caught inside the 25. And the Lions quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And that one incomplete as it stops the clock, reading 18 seconds to go. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Looking to throw. Moore. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. Matt Ioannidis. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop him. So a victory here for the Washington Redskins. And partner, I must say, good to see you again. Been too long. And it's good to have football back, isn't it? Didn't you see me in preseason? Weren't we together in preseason? Yeah, but preseason, you know, it's preseason. This is week one. Oh, you're trying to say real football. Yeah, real football. Not preseason football yeah. where we shake down the rosters and figure out who's going to play and maybe the starters don't play as much. Now it's the front line guys from the first whistle. Yeah, I tuned you out in the preseason. <laughs> and now I'm listening to you. So for the Redskins, not much to complain about here. They come in and steal a victory in a tough place to play on a Sunday night. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Detroit, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. And for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports.